What's going on? So real quick, I just want to go over the differences between the G7 from GameSer versus the Power A Advantage controller. So the Power A Advantage controller is really just the a copycat of the Spectro Affinity controller. There's a few differences on it and stuff, and we'll get into those in another video. But in this video, the GameStar G7, the XYBA themselves, as you can see, they're a little bit smaller on the controller themselves, and they're a little bit spaced about apart, it looks like anyways, but you know, that's only because of the size of the buttons. They feel really good though when it comes to it, because these are real tactile buttons, as you can hear here, versus the regular membrane on the Advantage controller itself. Now, both controllers do have anti-friction rings around the controllers themselves. They both are wired controllers and they both do come with back buttons on the controller themselves as well, as you can see here, two to be exact. You can see these are a little bit more squared off versus these that kind of fit more into the controller and actually go into the groove versus the ones that are over here that you know just kind of are on the side. They both feel very good in the hands though. I don't have an issue with either one of them comfort wise they both feel very very well and then also with the the, the advantage versus the game g7 as you can see here you're going to get the trigger stops here for the game or the power a advantage controller and you don't get those same trigger stops over here on the g7 game sir controller itself both controllers do have a 3.5 millimeter jack and you do have a mute button right here on the front of the g the g7 to be able to mute it on the go and then you could control your volume of the headset itself with the d-pad and using the m button the memory button right here as well the other difference on this controller is going to be the game sir can have interchangeable face plates as you can see here you can put the white one on that it can come with as well versus the g uh the spectrum or excuse me not the spectrum but the advantage power a controller does not have that it's a built-in but what this controller has that the other controllers does not have so one of the last things on this controller is going to be the actual RGB lights versus no RGB lights on the G7, of course. And these are customizable where you can, uh, there's like four different modes. You can do one right here, one right here, then in the middle, and then all the way down here at the bottom and the joystick as well. You can set these up in different color modes and stuff like that. They both come with an app. I will say though, the, the Power A app isn't nowhere near as good as the GameSir app that you can download to your PC and literally control everything from trigger dead zones to trigger uh, the anti, or excuse me, to the joystick dead zones and stuff. So all, all, both controllers are great. It really just depends on what you're looking for and what you're trying to buy either a specific controller for. But if you're looking for them, you want to know the differences on them, now you do. See you guys in the next one.